it is Friday today. So it's been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Five days since Ironman, and I'm out for a little run. I think this is my favorite run to do in the entire world. Bondi to Coogee in Sydney. It's the best. It's just, I love it. And the waves are pumping today. I stayed here for a few months, you know, when I was like 23 or something. So this, 22. So this brings back some memories, you know. Cruising down memory lane right now. Just taking a little stroll. Just taking a little jaunt down memory lane, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of scurrying down memory lane. Scampering, even, I would say. Just taking the little scamper, like a little rodent. Yeah, I, you know, there's a picture of me, probably, I don't know. I used to do this all the time. Devin and I used to do this run. And uh, I took a picture one time, right up there. Posted it on my Instagram. Probably was making some sort of fuckboy face. Like a piece of shit. Sorry. That's me scampering down memory lane again. So run has been super enjoyable. Body feels back to normal. Five days later, first couple days were rough, rough. I had a side stitch that I got at the beginning of the run that lasted for three straight days. We walked around a lot, like around this harbor and uh, and like the, we went to the, the Taronga Zoo and shit like that. And this the whole time just had this side stitch. I'm like Iron Man's over. You you're, you can chill. You know, no reason for you to be all. You're good. Just relax. So that took a few days to go down and then now everything else feels great and this run feels good. I'm still a little bit tired and a little bit worn down because I think I'm still a little bit jet lagged too, but it's been great. We're staying in Bondi. Hey buddy. Hi. No, no, it's fine. No worries. See this little guy right here. Sorry, I just had to chat with those dogs real fast. That was really nice. Skin is still really fucked up. I just lathered my face with sunscreen on race day so there's broke out completely like just total acne all over my forehead which hasn't happened in years so that's been that's been awesome it's been awesome love that anyways just just wanted to update you i gonna take a couple more videos as i'm as i'm finishing this run i should probably finish it we're two and a half miles in right now i think running at a pace of 950 so pretty slow but whatever fast compared to what i was doing on race day that's for sure folks we're back we're back in the United States of America, baby. U.S. survey. So I did that run on Friday. It's it's Monday now, by the way, American time. So it's Tuesday, Australian time. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. So that run on Friday, fantastic. What an amazing run. That is one of my favorite runs in the world. If you're ever in Australia and you're in Sydney, go to Bondi Beach, do that fucking run. It is It is phenomenal. And I listened to the same song. I ran nine miles. Five days after Iron Man, I ran nine miles and felt fantastic the whole time. There's the stats right there. I listened to the same song on repeat for all hour, 20 minutes. Lewd, turn me on. So that shit inspired me. I got home and I just started making drum and bass music. And now I have a re- Wait, I'll just, I'll just play it for you real fast. It inspired me so much. I tried a, a new genre of music. Okay, anyways, 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 so that's that's what I did when I got home. I'm so fucking jet lagged. I slept for 12 hours somehow last night and still feel like it's the middle of the night. I just always feel like it's the middle of the night now for the last three days. But I'm gonna hit a run right now. It's about 12 p.m. I'm starting to finally feel like it's not the middle of the night, so I'm gonna go out and hit a run. And then I'm gonna call my coach at some point today and see if he can coach me for my next endeavor, which um, I will say more about in a second. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't have anything planned. Like, I don't have an announcement planned or anything, so I guess I could say it's the ultra marathon. I gotta do a 50 miler now because we raised 50K. So that'll be the next thing. So there you go. There's the big announcement. <laughs> Maybe I should. Should I, uh, maybe I should like go outside or something. All right, I'm outside. I'm doing a 50 miler. I don't know if that must, was much better. Speaking of health, hydration, extremely important. Uh, and that's why I want to thank the sponsor of today's video. It's something I really, really love drinking. And that's Element. Let me just stack these up nicely. So they look good. I'm sure the brand would appreciate that. I'm trying to impress these guys because I, I really like this product. So I just want them to, you know, keep sending it to me. Let me move, sorry. Move my Gucci wallet, Italian leather. There it is right there. Element. Element. Yum. One of the things that 
I noticed in the process of training for an endurance event like Ironman, obviously food is very important, but also hydration is just as important. And I am perpetually dehydrated. And when I finally started actually hydrating, I noticed such a huge difference in not only my training, but just like my day-to-day -day life, how like alert I felt, how like my body just felt like it was more well oiled. And that's because I was actually getting my electrolytes. You lose so many electrolytes when you're training. So you have to replenish them. And if you don't, you're just already at a disadvantage. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix that has everything you need and nothing that you don't. That means ton a ton of salt with no sugar. It's got a science-backed electrolyte ratio, which means 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of, uh, I almost said Percocet, no. 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. When you're training for stuff, the primary electrolyte that you lose is salt, sodium. Athletes can lose up to seven grams per day. And when you run out, that's when you run into issues like cramping and serious muscle fatigue when you're out training, which is the worst. Because once it happens, it's kind of too late. So you got to make sure that you're getting your sodium in and your electrolytes in properly, you know, as you train so that you don't run into those issues. Anyways, right now, Element is offering a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packs for free with any order, which is a great way to just try out all eight flavors and figure out which one's your favorite. So you can get yours today at drinkelement.com slash Cody. That's drinklmnt.com slash Cody. The deal is only available through that link. So use it and get your salt. Get salty, my friends. It's time to get salty. Salmon Mondays are back. They're back. After a long hiatus. It's back. It's back. Salmon is back. Salm. Salmon. 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 Salmon day. No, salmon. Salmon day. Yeah, but just like the first half of salmon and the first half of Monday. Salmon. Yeah. Day. Of course, as soon as we sit down, he wants to go out. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Can't let us just, you know, just relax for two seconds. Hello. It's actually the next day. Yesterday I did uh, this exact route, seven miles, and today I'm doing the exact same thing, seven miles. I kind of love these like in between race times where you can just do whatever you want. I just running because I enjoy it now, you know? I'm not doing it because it's on the calendar. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. I was like in a little lull with work, so I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go rip seven miles. Rip it, you know? I don't really got much else to say. I feel good today. Yesterday I felt good too. A little tired. I've definitely lost some fitness. The week in Australia, I think I had fish and chips 16 times or something. <laughs> Literally every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, fish and chips. They were just so good every time. And just tartar sauce. I have fucking tartar sauce coming out of my, my tartar. So gained a little weight, lost a little fitness. Definitely not in tip top shape right now, but I think I'm gonna set a date for this 50 miler and just start hammering. I was talking to my coach yesterday. I was like, yeah, that's the next thing. 50 miler, just wanna run. He's like, yeah, but you know, we still gotta, Still gotta do some bikes and some swims. And I was like, do we? Do we though? Do we? Do we? Who's gonna, no one's gonna say. I won't say anything. Will you say anything? If we just, what if we just didn't, didn't do them? But he is right. You know, it'd be a shame to train for eight months and then completely let everything go. I gotta maintain a little bit of that so that maybe, you know, maybe late next year, we hop back into Ironman. Oh, we'll see. I'm just, it's a tentative little thought right now. But, okay, we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna rip the rest of this. Fuck, maybe I'll have some fish and chips tonight. No, healthy. Eat healthy. It's the hardest thing for me. Once I do something for a week, it becomes my lifestyle. That's just my personality. It's who I am. So now I've eaten fish and chips for a week straight. It's all I want to ever eat. That's my diet. I would be perfectly happy right now if I had fish and chips for every single meal. Some person was like, I'll make you the best fish and chips ever for every meal right now, but it takes 10 years off your life. I'd be like, well, hands are tied. Nothing I can really do. It's my lifestyle now. So I did it for a week, so I'm locked in. So it's not even really a choice. Anyways, oh, it's a nice downhill now. I'm cruising, 920. <laughs> not really cruising, but. All right, check out what we got today. Meatballs. Did the seven mile run, by the way, went well. Taste some of that. Tell me, give me a little, give me a little review. The guy that was filming today, shout out. Just because I walked in, we started filming, and then when I was leaving, he said, choo-choo. No way, really? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, there you have it, folks. That's how good it is right there. Boom. Instant cough. That's <laughs> so really you good. know it's good. 
Last time I did this, I made coconut rice, and this time I just totally, Every other time totally done. forgot. No, not the first time. Did I? See. Oh, I totally forgot this time. Really? Yeah, I actually when did. When you said the meatballs, like I was thinking the rice. All I thought about the meatballs. These are yeah. fucked up. I'm dipping the best though. The meatballs are the best that I've made so far because I actually got the proportions right this time. They're really good. Last time was way too many like breadcrumbs. I thought it was too sticky, but it turns out like chicken is just super sticky, so you have to wet your hands mm. and then make them into balls. So now the proportions are right. It's really good. I wasn't cooking because I was like, it's hard to like get used to a new kitchen. A little bit like intimidating. Mm -hmm. Gotta like learn where things go. There's only one way to learn. What? There's only one way to learn. No, but now I'm over that hump. Salmon yesterday. Salmon. Meatballs today. Get ready for a lot more where that came from. I'm talking chicken piccata. I'm talking... What's another dish? Um, corn dogs. Corn dogs. And that's all I want in life is a corn dog. Corn dogs and coconut rice? <laughs> that's not good. You don't eat them together. You eat them next to each other? You eat the corn dog and then you move on to the coconut rice. Mm. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. It's just two different, totally different cultures. That's okay. We are the world. This is fucked up. It's really good. Here, that's what it looks like. Look at that sticky sauce on there. Mm -hmm. Apricot jam. And poison sauce and ginger and garlic. Soy sauce. Check out what else I made. Ah! Oh. I think I undercooked these ones though, unfortunately. Oh, uh, maybe not actually. They feel fine. I think we're good. Good morning. We're going surfing. Ooh, sorry, what was that? Ooh, whoops. Millennials be like. Yeah, syrup is pumping this week, so no reason, no reason not to. We're on a race coming up, so we're getting out there. It's supposed to be four to six feet today, which kind of is scary because I haven't surfed in six months. So a little nervous. I don't want to get crushed, but I might take out one of those new boards I got too. Pumped. Well, what's that? A zit on the back of the arm. Classic. Classic zip location. So, first time surfing in six months, I feel like it's gonna be easy. <laughs> I actually feel like my paddling is probably better than it's ever been. I'm, I'm positive you can't drown. Don't say that. No, I just, that's how why I would think. you say? Why would you even <laughs> say the word drown? Okay, little wave report from yesterday's surf session. It's Friday today, and uh, no, it's not. It's not at all. That's a bold faced lie. I just, I just lied to your face. How's that? Acting, bitch, learn about it. Uh, it's actually Thursday. <laughs> I, I know, I bet you're probably like, wait, <laughs> what? That's you, you know, it's your dumb face. Well, I thought you just said it was, yeah, cause I, I lied, it's acting. No, it's Thursday today, sorry, everything's kinda, days are kinda blurring together right now. So yesterday I caught one wave, but it was a great one. And then uh, it started picking up in size. Today it's huge. Like there was some absolute mammoth waves out there today. I didn't paddle out, but I ran by it, which is just as good. I wa I look I watched from the safety of the sidewalk. Yesterday I caught one wave and then just got smashed a couple times and was freezing too. The water must have been 56 degrees. I bet. Like my hands, I was in physical pain the entire session. Never went away. Just, they, my hands just hurt, but I caught one wave, so that's a success to me. Uh, I haven't surfed in six months, so that felt great to get that one. It was a left too, so that was kind of sick. And then today, did another seven mile run. So I'm back in at 714, what is that, 21? That's 21 miles this week. 21 miles this week, and if you include the run I did last Friday in Australia, because it's Friday there right now, that makes 21 plus, that was nine miles, right? So that makes 30 miles in the last seven days. That's, I'm getting back into it, baby. Uh, I'm not wasting any time. I'm back into it. Been cooking this week, been feeling healthy. So that's good. Made some meatballs a couple nights ago. Mm. Uh, by the way, the ad read's over, but I'm actually making one of these bad boys. Cause I just finished my run. Chocolate sea salt. Chocolate sea salt sounds pretty damn good. All right, folks. So uh, this is, let me, let me turn on a little. Boom! So, this is the end of this video. It feels good to be back. I did take a week off of posting on Cody Trains because we did the two videos before and after Iron Man, so. So, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. It's time to start getting back into it. I might even set my bike up on the trainer and 
Got a couple trainer rides maybe next week. And next week, very something very exciting. I'm going to another city. I'm doing a Cody Trains business trip. That's right. That's 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 kind of felt weird to say that, but it actually is. I'm going to a city specifically to run and work out and podcast with uh, two people. So I'll let you guess what city and who. That's fun, right? I'll let you guys guess. So yeah, I'm excited for that. So tune in next week for that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like for, on this video for me. I really appreciate that. Here's to the next challenge, ultra marathon, 50 miles at least. Let's do it. Choo-choo, baby. Peace.